बसमीम् अल्लाम स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फाइव आर सब्जेक्ट इज साइंस यूनिट नंबर फोर लेक्चर नंबर नाइनटीन एंड आर टॉपिक इज एनिमल्स इन बॉडी ब्रेड्स In our previous lecture, we studied that invertebrates do not have a backbone. We also discussed that the examples of invertebrates are insects and worms. We learned worms, and today we discuss insects. But before this. Let's summarize the previous topic. Invertebrates are divided according to the structural features of their bodies. Some invertebrates have three or more pairs of legs, like insects, spider, crabs. You can see spider. Spider have three or more pairs of legs, while others do not have any leg. Like slug, you can see slug have no leg. We also learn that some invertebrates have antenna, like insects. You can see ant ant have an antenna or tentacles, while other do not, like starfish. We learn that some in invertebrates have soft bodies. while others have hard shell like snail or exoskeleton ladybird the word exoskeleton means shell and the function of exoskeleton is to protect their soft bodies like ladybird you can see exoskeleton is present over here and the function of exoskeleton is to protect their soft bodies we also learn that The world's longest animal is the bootless worm, and it is five fifty-five meter long. And we also learn that world's smallest worm is nematodes, and its thickness is just like a small coin. We also study that worms. Have long tube-like body and no arms or legs. You can see here too, no arm, no leg, and its body is like a tube. Some worms are microscopically small, while others can grow much longer. And we also learn that worms live in the various habitat like water. Sea, fresh water, land, etc. We learn that some worms are useful for us. They live in the soil and help to enrich it. Enrich it means to make soil fertile. They also irrigate, bring air into the soil. Students, invertebrates. we study that worms and today we are talk about insects please open page number 38 of your science book and you can see the first heading which is insects means hasharat insects get their name because their bodies are in sections hum inko ye naam kyun mila hai kyunki inke jo jism hai वो सेक्शंस मीन्स टुकड़ों में होते हैं ऑल अडल्ट इंसेक्ट्स हैव थ्री पार्ट्स तमाम हशरात जो कि अडल्ट हैं उनकी बॉडी के थ्री पार्ट्स होते हैं ऑल अडल्ट इंसेक्ट्स हैव थ्री पार्ट्स टू देयर बॉडीज दीज आर अड अट्रैक्स एंड एन एप्टम You can see this in this picture. Abdomen. This is the abdomen portion. This is thorax. 
this one is hat this one is long filament like structure it is called antenna and these are the legs you can see that the legs have more than three pairs you can see students please uh, see it very carefully the definition of abdomen is the part of the body of the vertebrate containing the digestive and reproductive organs belly the belly is also called the abdomen this one is thorax you can see that the rings are connected with the thorax this one is head this one is the antenna and these are the legs and the legs have more than three pairs you can see very good now please continue the reading these are a head a thorax and an abdomen insects have two feelers or antenna i show you the picture of antenna you can see over here also antenna they are also called feelers feelers mean mehsoos karne wale these are used for what is the function of antenna antenna is used for smelling and feeling aap antenna ke antenna ke zariye insects kya karte hain smell karte hain aur feelings hoti hain feel karte hain through the antenna insects have two feelers or antenna these are used for smelling and feelings you can see the different insects over here you can see this one very good i repeat this paragraph for you people please listen very carefully insects get their name because their bodies are in sections all adult insects have three parts to their bodies these are a head a thorax and an abdomen insects have two feelers or antenna these are used for smelling and feeling you can see over here different insects now most insects have two large eyes jada tar jo hashat hain unki do badi badi eyes hain like this i can show you these are the eyes of the insects you can see all insects have three pairs of legs joined to the thorax you can see three or more pairs of the legs ye kis se join hai aapke insect ke kiske sath join hai thorax ke sath see here legs are joined with the thorax bees flies and beetles are insect you can see bees this one is honey bee this one is house fly and this one is beetle these are the insects they have wings inke kya hai par hai wo kis ke sath attach hai attached to the thorax and can fly ye bhi inke jo wings hain ye maine aapko bataya ke wings are also attached with their thorax and to this they can fly birds and bats fly too parinde aur chimghatre bhi udte hain but they have are not insects lekin ye hasharat nahi hai insects do not have bones insects mein bones nahi hoti haddiyan nahi hoti instead iski bajaye they have a spotted and protected unko spot karta hai aur protect karta hai tahaffuz farm karta hai kaun farm karta hai unko jo uh, milta hai tahaffuz aur protection milti hai by a hard covering एक बहुत सख्त खोल है जिसे बोलते हैं काइटिन वट इज दर्ड इज काइटिन मोस्ट इंसेक्ट्स हैव टू लैक्स आईज टू लार्ज आईज ऑल इंसेक्ट्स हैव थ्री पेयर्स ऑफ लैग्स ज्वाइन टू देयर थोरैक्स बीज फ्लाइज एंड बीटल्स आर इंसेक्ट्स एंड दे हैव विंग्स अटैच टू द थोरैक्स एंड कैन फ्लाई बर्ड्स एंड बैट्स फ्लाई टू 
but they are not insects. Insects do not have bones. Instead, they are spotted and protected by a hard covering called chitin. Next, you can see the picture of insect again. They are the three parts of insects. They are abdomen, thorax and head. You can see the wings of the insects and the legs of the insects are attached with the with their thorax and insects have more three more than three pairs of the leg you can see here and they have also antenna or feelers and they use it for smelling and feeling now you can see that friend or enemy the word friend mean those and enemy mean dushman Some insects are considered to be pest. कुछ हजरात ऐसे हैं जिन्हें हम ख्याल करते हैं कि वो पेस्ट हैं वट इज़ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ पेस्ट पेस्ट इन उर्दू दिस वन इज पेस्ट इज ऑल्सो यू कैन से लाइक कीड़े एंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ पेस्ट इज अ डिस्ट्रक्टिव इंसेक्ट और अदर एनिमल that attacks crops food and livestock etc aise ashrat jo ki attack karte hain kis pe faslon par woods par attack karte hain destroy karte hain unhe wo kya hai aapke pest hai so some insects are considered to be pest they destroy leaves wo kise tabah karte hain leaves ko patton ko fruits phalon ko and seeds aur beej ko Others like flies and mosquito cause diseases. दूसरे जैसे कि अब मक्खियाँ एंड मच्छर जो हैं वो क्या किसका बाइस बनते हैं बीमारियों का बाइस बनते हैं Do you know of any other insects that are pest? क्या आप कुछ ऐसे insects को जानते हैं जो कि pest हैं So I give you the answer of this question is like ticks, snakes. वास एंड्स एंड बैड बग्स बैड बग मीन्स खटमल दे ऑल आर द इंसेक्ट्स दैट आर बेस्ट एंड बीट द इंसेक्ट्स दैट आर बेस्ट दिस आर दे आर टिक्स स्नेक्स वास एंड्स बैड बग्स एट्सेट्रा दे ऑल आर द इंसेक्ट्स दैट आर बेस्ट Some insects like the honeybee, bee, and the silkworm. कुछ insects, जैसे कि शहद की मक्खी मक्खी और silkworm means रेशम का कीड़ा Silkworm means रेशम का कीड़ा आर यूजफुल टू अस हमारे लिए क्या है ये फ़ायदेमंद है हमारे लिए यूजफुल कौन से हैं हनी बी बी एंड सिल्क वॉम दे आर useful to us some insects like honey bee bee and the silk worm are useful to us some insects are called social insects kuch insects aise hain jinhe samaji hasharat kaha jata hai and as they live together kyunki wo ek sath rehte hain in groups ग्रोहों की शक्ल में कार्ड कॉलोनीस जिसे आप कॉलोनीस कहते हैं सोशल इंसेक्ट्स की डेफिशन क्या है यू कैन सी दिस वन सम इंसेक्ट्स आर कॉल्ड सोशल इंसेक्ट्स एज द लीव टूगेदर इन ग्रुप्स कॉल्ड कॉलोनीस इन द कॉलोनी देर कैन बी हंड्रेड्स और इवन थाउजेंड ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स एक कॉलोनी में सैकड़ों बल्कि हज़ारों की तादाद में इंसेक्ट्स होते हैं स्टूडेंट्स वी लर्न दैट सम इंसेक्ट्स आर कंसीडर टू बी पेस्ट दे डिस्ट्रॉय लीव्स फ्रूट्स एंड सीड्स अदर्स लाइक फ्लाइज एंड मॉस्किटो कॉज डिजीजेस 
Some insects like a honeybee, bee and the silkworm are useful to us. Some insects are called social insects as they live together is called in groups called colonies. In a colony there can be a hundred or even thousands of insects. The answer questions are what are antenna? What are they used for? Antenna kya hai? Aur ye kis liye use hote hain? The answer of this question is antenna or feelers are sensitive are sensitive long parts that stick out from the head of an insect. Antenna ya feeler wo sensitive part hai jo ke insect ke head ke saath chipka hota hai stick out hota hai. They are used for smelling and feeling. वो इसे किस लिए यूज़ करते हैं स्मेल करने के लिए और फील करने के लिए वाट आर एंटना वाट आर दे यूज फॉर एंटना और फीलर्स आर सेंसिटिव लॉन्ग पार्ट्स डेट स्टिक आउट फ्रॉम द हेड टू फैन इंसेक्ट दे आर यूज फॉर स्मेलिंग एंड फीलिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इज डू ऑल इंसेक्ट्स फ्लाई क्या तमाम इंसेक्ट्स उड़ते हैं कैन यू नेम सम डैट डू नॉट उनके नाम बताएं जो कि ऐसा नहीं करते द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज मोस्ट इंसेक्ट्स हैव विंग्स बहुत से श्राद्ध के क्या होते हैं पर होते हैं मैनी काइंड ऑफ एंड्स डू नॉट हैव विंग उनमें जो एंड्स हैं बहुत किस्म की जो चोटियाँ हैं उनके विंग्स नहीं होते क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इज नेम सम स्मॉल क्रिएचर्स Which are not insects? आपने उन छोटी मखलूक के बारे में बताना है जो कि इंसेक्ट्स नहीं हैं से वाई दे आर नॉट इंसेक्ट्स ये भी बताएं कि वो इंसेक्ट्स क्यों नहीं हैं द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज बर्ड्स एंड बैट्स कैन फ्लाई परिंदे और चिमगादरे उड़ते हैं बट दे आर नॉट इंसेक्ट्स लेकिन वो हशरात नहीं हैं Insects do not have bones. Insects में हड्डियाँ नहीं होती They are spotted and protected. उनको spot और protect करने के लिए एक hard shell, एक hard covering है By a hard covering called chitin. उनको उनकी जो spot, उनकी protection के लिए एक hard covering है जिसको chitin कहते हैं I repeat this question for you people. Name some small creatures which are not insects. Say why they are not insects. The answer is birds and bats can fly, but they are not insects. Insects do not have bones. They are spotted and protected by a hard covering called chitin. Students, write these questions on your notebook, and the diary is. Reading page number thirty-eight. Learn and write question number eight to ten. Thank you so much. Allah bless.